for less than $50? Let me show you how. Friends, I am so obsessed with these obelisks. They are gorgeous and they cost me less than $50 each to build. And they are about seven and a half feet tall and just beautiful. I will leave everything you need to know in the description below. All the materials, tools, everything that we use in the description. So let's just dive right in. Here I am, I'm just like, babes, you know, this is what I want, this is how it looks. I found a picture on Pinterest and then I tweaked it to look like my own. I didn't wanna just copy and paste. So I'm just sharing my ideas and plans and you know, so he get a full understanding of what I require or what I'm asking of him. And he was very generous and very kind, very supportive. And I'm just so thankful. So I just have to put that out there. Thank you so much, babe, love you. Okay, so here he is pre-measuring all of the eight feet boards. So these are two by two by eight. I wanted them to be seven feet tall. So he took off a foot and a little bit because they were a little bit longer than eight feet. So that's what he's doing right here. He pre-measured every single one of them and then cut them off, cut a foot and a little bit off to make them all seven feet tall. Also here he is pre-measuring and cutting the 1x2x8 which will be going across the 2x2x8. You will see that when we start to assemble the obelisk. Now it's time to assemble the obelisk and here we are using two two by eight that was cut down to be seven feet tall. So we're gonna put them in a triangle form. The top are gonna be kissing each other, literally touching, kissing each other, making out. And you can use either tape, a screw, a nail, whatever it is that you can use or a clamp just to hold the top piece together so they do not move. Make sure they are aligned and leveled. While he's doing that, I am measuring from the base up 16 inches. Wherever the 16 inches land, that is where I'll be putting my first 24 inch one by two across to hold the base to start off the first i guess a ladder working my way up to the top now your measurement will depend on the size that you are going for i decided to use 24 and work my way up from that gradually so here he's just putting on the first pre-cut 24 inch one by two across measure again another 16 inches going up and wherever that lands that's where i put my second piece which was measured 18 inches across you can do 24 20 16 12 8 all even numbers i don't know how we came up with even odd numbers here but you know imperfection is just as beautiful as perfection measure another 18 inches and apply your third piece of wood for us that measured uh, 14 inches and then you're going to repeat the same thing Oops. measure another 16 inches and place another piece which was nine inches for us
glass piece it measured five inches now we could have left it right here but we went to the top anyway i mean you could always take it off i mean we could always take it off but you know it's there for now so this is the first leg now we're going to repeat the same process for the other half of this omelet now we're just repeating the same thing two two by eight cut down to seven feet tall and then we're repeating the same thing with the same size same length of the woods 24 18 14 9 and 5. Now that we have that complete, we are joining both pieces together. I am holding the top together leveled um, while he puts on the first piece of 24 inch one by two across to hold it together. Next, he's added another five inch piece at the top to hold the top together in place so I do not have to hold it for the whole duration and it'll cramp up my hands and then after that we're just gonna repeat the same process that we did Now we are turning it over to the last side that need to be joined together and we are going to repeat the last several steps the same way. Add a 24 inch at the bottom, a 5 inch at the top and then work our way up. So 24 inches, 18, 14, 5 and 9. All four sides all have the same length of wood just to look seamless and look somewhat identical. And that is how easy it is to reach this point. Now, it's cute, but it could be cuter. So I asked my husband to cut me some 45 inches picket fence style with the V at the top boards so I can put them in the middle of each triangle at the starting from the bottom up. As you can see here, the pickets are only going to cover the first three um, going across. Beautiful. So the camera died when I was attaching them to the obelisk, but it's just so beautiful. It gave it more dimension, you know, a little bit more razzle-dazzle, a little bit more flavor. I love it. They are just so easy to assemble and they are not that expensive at all. Now, they do have a little weight to them, but I can manage because, you know, I carry two babies in my arms. Um but they are just amazing so when I do use them in the garden I do intend on burying them a little bit maybe like six inches into the soil also use rocks just to keep it in place and steady in case of heavy high winds but guys look at these gorgeous the next step is to stain well not stain I'm going to paint them a tropical color I'm going to leave a picture at the end of this video let me know what color you are feeling I am going for tropical vibes so these wood are pressure treated and I am encouraged to wait but you know I'm a little bit impatient so I'm gonna give it a few weeks maybe a month I cannot promise anything and then I'm going to stain them not stain paint them so let me know what you think in the comments oh my goodness I am just so excited I'm so happy and I'm so in love thank you to my husband for being so supportive always. Bye!